cute little bed and breakfast. Good morning, everybody. We are in the car. It is June 25th. Oh, exactly. We're in the car. We have the GPS going. It is June 23rd today. We are on day two of our Ireland road trip. And in true Irish style, we've started the day with some rain. And Masha relearning how to drive on the left. <laughs> Today we're gonna start our day in Waterford because we did not see Waterford last night even though we stayed in Silverview which is really close by. But essentially Waterford is the oldest city in Ireland so we do wanna see the harbor front. We wanna see a little bit of the sites that we researched last night. I've come up with a detailed itinerary for the day today just so we feel like we're maximizing our days on the road trip because yesterday I found when we didn't have a plan we just kind of kind of squandered our time a little and, and ran out of time and clothes well, were, we stores were closing we stayed in a restaurant for ages so today the plan is to enjoy our day we've even booked a tour on a horse and carriage in Killarney and so we have that booked at 5 15 p.m. so we have somewhere to be first of all let's check out the cute quaint city of Waterford hopefully it's nice even in the rain we're gonna <laughs> find out here's Masha <laughs> bye Hi guys, so we made it in the rain and we're just walking around. We have the whole place to ourselves because literally we're the only crazy tourists that are willing to walk Waterford in the rain. But you know what? We have umbrellas, raincoats, and we're getting to see the beautiful Viking quarter. It's called the Medieval Mile basically from the Viking times. We're getting to see it all to ourselves. There's nobody else around. There's nobody else crazy enough to come during the rain. So check this out, wow. Lord, look at this, it's a petrified tree. And the Vikings carved it just like a totem pole. It's telling a story carved into this long log. And they have it right here in the Viking mile. Look at how incredible. Let's look at some of the detail. Wow, a battle carved right into the wood. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, that was worth the walk in the rain. Just to see this massive log. So cool. Everything's closed though, and it's so quiet. Stuff doesn't open for another half an hour. But look at that. Oh, this is such a cool place. Okay. 
<laughs> oh! That's so cool. Oh wow. Look at mom. <laughs> this is so neat. So we were told they made these stairwells hard to climb so that people wouldn't easily be able to storm the tower. But we're in Reginald's Tower. We're gonna go all the way up to the top, which means lots of stairs in a spiral. He said get the exercise over. Yeah, go to the top first. Watch your head. It starts to get narrow. But yeah, it's just a spiral all the way up, five euro to get in here. But it's the original tower, so I yeah. thought that was quite cool to so explore, cool. to see it. Go up these stairs. Okay, I'll be back at the top. This was Old Waterford as a Viking settlement, and that's the Reginald Tower which was originally made of wood until it was then fortified in stone. But we are inside that tower right now. Look at this, looks like a cell. Oh my God, it's a toilet. No way. I'm assuming that's a toilet. Mommy, you have to see this toilet. Okay. Okay. Look at this, it's a piece. It's a okay. log. No, we gotta, f no, we don't go, f you don't get to pick first. We okay. Go heads jump. Sorry. Tails or heads? We look out into the Waterford. Tails or heads, Cara? Heads. Tails it is. You're first. Love this, Cara. I'm so happy we picked this. Look at your bun. Gonna get skunked. <laughs> I can't remember how to play checkers. It's very easy. Never forget. I know. I'm setting you up. Little do you know. Little do you know, a bit coming in fast. <laughs> oh, oh. Yep, mm-hmm. first so we made it out of Waterford we're on our way now we were gonna go to the Copper Coast which is a beautiful UNESCO global geopark but unfortunately it's not the weather for the coast we would be miserable soaking wet and just not having fun outside so we're skipping the Copper Coast that's something we can come back and see another time when we're in Ireland one day sometime in the future and we're gonna make our way to Cobb which is just outside of Cork Cork is a really big city in Ireland, but Cobb is a little beautiful inlet off down to the southern part of Ireland. So we're excited to see Cobb. We're gonna have our lunch stop there and just hopefully have some better weather. I don't know, but we actually expected rain in Ireland. So it was nice yesterday to have the sun for our first day of the road trip. But today is more of a little bit of a dose of reality. And after we get to Cobb and have our lunch, we're going to continue on to Blarney Castle. So that's the next few stops. I'll update you after we get to Blarney and Cobb.
driving a hybrid car and the and we're on electric right now and it sounds a little bit like do you hear that yeah that's our electric car making that sound anyway we made it to Cobb the rain has stopped it's just misting now just try to drive these windy narrow streets and find somewhere to have lunch but is this ever a cute town by the sea yeah so pretty colorful homes steep streets with a lot of houses on them just beautiful beautiful cathedral highly recommend you come visit Cobb heritage town definitely worth the detour on the way to cork yeah car tour and we have to meet them at 5 15 well basically 5 p.m in Killarney which is still GPS says an hour and 20 minutes away and it's now almost three so if we did try to go to Blarney Castle it would just be really rushed but for now we are making our way to Killarney the next time I see you guys we'll be in Killarney bye <laughs> We have arrived in Killarney. It's 4.10. Masha drove us here safely, safe and sound. <laughs> and we have time to check into the hotel, drop our bags. And we found the spot where we are gonna catch the jaunty car because we saw all the horse and carriages. So we're excited. We made it in time to take the jaunty car and we even get to see the room. So let's go, we gotta check in. You know what, for three nights. Oh, yeah. That's we're staying at a four-star hotel this is our splurge of the whole irish portion <laughs> the victoria 210 euros a night don't even want to convert that to new zealand dollars don't even wanna but we were just informed we got upgraded so now we're going to walk to our room there's chandeliers in this hotel that's how fancy it is look our floor has a seating area look a receiving area for the hotel room. So cool. It is my pleasure to do a room tour of our four-star hotel at the Victoria Killarney. We come in the front door, full-length mirror. We've got a little wardrobe there. Here's the washroom. Look at the toilet in here. Black. A full shower unit with recessed shelving with lights. Now that's high-end. Look at the floor tiling, very swanky. 
Wow. And we come into the main room. Look at this leather. beautiful leather. These are our two twins because we like a little separation. You come over here. Look at the lamps. They're huge. We have a little desk area with some welcome water. Very grand. Looking at the room from this side, we have these beautiful drapes. Look at this painting. So luxe. Look at these curtains. They're thick and luxurious velvet material. Wow. Wow. And then finally in the room, we have a little seating area here to just discuss the day's activities and a big flat screen TV. Overlooking this view here, let us see the view. We have a hotel view. I think that's the Glendare. Okay, just the drapes alone are impressive. I would, I just, can I have these in my flat? They're beautiful. Wow. Okay, so splurge for the night. Worth it? Yes. And apparently we got upgraded. So our room wasn't even supposed to be this large. But I'm not complaining. All right, we're going to drop our bags, freshen up, and we have a jaunty car waiting for us in town. So we have to go meet the horse. The whole thing. I'll see you guys then. Bye. Okay, we made it to the meetup point. There's one behind us. Maybe that's ours. But the one thing I'll say about Ireland, finding a car park is a nightmare. <laughs> finding a car park is a nightmare. I just about fell off the road. It's so hard to find a park. It was our jaunty car. We made it on. We're waiting for two more people and then we can get started. Are you from here? From Killarney, born and raised. It's 26,000 acres, including mountains and lakes. Oh. Outside the town, the Killarney Park, where we are now. This side was an estate owned by an Irish American by the name of John McShane. So, this cottage here, guys, is called Dina Clodge, and it was a gatekeeper's house to the McShane estate. The design on the top of the thatch roof is the Thatcher's signature. Every Thatcher has their own signature. Last person to touch it, her name was Margaret Thatcher. No one in the TV is How do you control the population of them? With guns. Bonk. <laughs> they're, they're called once a year by the park rangers. There's also a hunting season here in Ireland. Oh, good. In the month of November. Must be good meat. Getting the Irish experience with the misty rain and wind but this is a really fun trip we actually it's just Masha and I we did we didn't have to wait because the other people missed out so it's just us two Okay, so we finished our horse carriage jaunty car ride and we're walking around Killarney main town and it's massive. massive it's just every lane every street is full of these similar style pubs shops close together we've just been wandering a bit but it is still raining 
But I, I'm just surprised. I didn't know Killarney was so big. But yeah. there's a lot of shops, a lot of people, a lot of tourists, a lot of pubs. <laughs> and that wraps up day two of our Ireland road trip. We didn't let a rainy morning deter us from enjoying our time in Waterford. Masha and I really loved learning about the medieval Viking history of the city and had so much fun visiting Reginald's Tower, which has been standing by the harbour for centuries. We thought Cobb was such a cute town and I loved the colourful houses. This town is best known for being the last port of call for the Titanic in 1912. Unfortunately, we bit off more than we could chew and had to skip a visit to the famous Blarney Castle. But the trade-off was being able to enjoy a fun jaunty car ride all to ourselves in Killarney. We loved the sense of humour our driver had and enjoyed learning more about the history of Killarney from the comfort of our jaunty car, which is a very traditional way to get around town. Killarney is a busy town and a popular stop to base yourself for exploring the Ring of Kerry Scenic Drive. And that's exactly what we did the next day, which you can see in the next video. If you like this video, then please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!